familia, it's Alex. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. So as you guys can see from the title, today we are doing our last update of Deck of Panning Project Pan. This was created by the beautiful Emily here on YouTube. Everything you need to know will be linked down below. Next month will be the finale of this Project Pan. I'm very excited about this update, you guys, and you might be excited for me too. If you are anticipating to join this Project Pan next year, stay tuned because uh, there's gonna be a few small changes, I believe, that Miss Emily is thinking of doing that is going to make this even more fun. So prep yourselves because we are bringing this back in January. So if you are interested in joining, don't forget to reach out to Miss Emily to be able to be joined into the playlist. So you guys, I have my five products here. I'm excited. I have my deck of cards. I haven't seen the game board yet. So you guys know how I do it every month. But first, if you're new to my channel, welcome to the familia. My name is Alejandra. I'm an eyeshadow enthusiast with an ash project man. That is something that interests you. Subscribe. Shut up. And now let's get on with this update. All right, you guys, so I have my notepad here to tell me what the prompts are for each thing because I do not remember them. The first one I want to share with you guys is a Project Graveyard product. And for that, I chose my Marc Jacobs liner. I had uh, used it six times the last time and I needed four more times to reach my goal of 10. And I did go ahead and do that. This is a beautiful liner. Uh, unfortunately, the Marc Jacobs collection, the whole entire line has been discontinued. I don't know if he's bringing it back, reformulating. I don't know what the deal is, but he did great eyeliners. I love the black one and this one in the skinny version, it was beautiful. This green is nice. I don't know how much is left of it truthfully because I have rolled this into many project pans over the last year or two that I've had it, but it's still going strong. I'm gonna put this back in my collection, but I'm happy to say that I've reached my goal on this one. Up next is the prompt for autumn. And for that, I rolled in my Sydney Grace Spiced Cider Eyeshadow. This is a cream eyeshadow by Sig uh, Sydney Grace. This is a beautiful shadow. I used it three times on my upper lid and then on my lower lid, or lower lash line, I should say, I used this twice as a base to be able to build something up on it. It's a beautiful color. This is gonna last me a lifetime, you guys. This is going to be buried with me. All of them are gonna be buried with me or they're gonna use this to do my makeup all over the place, I don't know. Use it as body paint or something because these, you only need the tiniest amount. It looks like I barely touched this, but I did re reach my goal. Last month I had used it zero times. This time I did use it all five times. All right, next up is a collection, a whole collection roulette. And for that, uh, the prompt brought me to my Laura Geller Peach Glow Highlighter. My goal was to use this 10 times, you guys. I used it 10 times and I enjoyed every single bit of it. This looked really brand new when I brought it in and now it looks really nicely used. And I will say that I fell in love with this shade over the Charming Pink. I think I prefer this one a lot more than the Charming Pink shade. And Gilded Honey is still my favorite out of all three but this one's my second favorite. I enjoyed it. I loved how it looked on my skin. It looks beautiful. Uh, it's not too icy and it's not too pinky or peachy. It's perfect in between. Uh, this is a very underrated highlighter and I really like it. So I did use it 10 times, so I get to also roll this out. My fourth uh, uh, prompt was the another whole collection roulette. I don't know if I was allowed to do that, but two of the same ones happened to roll in. And for that, uh, the Marc Jacobs Dashing Lipstick was rolled in. My goal was to use this three times, you guys. I ended up using it three times, twice on my lips, once on my cheek. This is a beautiful red, and I now remember why I kept this red over other reds that I have. Beautiful formula, really enjoy it. I, I wish I could be more into reds as as I would like they look beautiful on me and I really like I'm not trying to be conceited or anything but I do like how a red looks on me it's just that it's a very high maintenance lip product sometimes I just don't want to be bothered with a red lip but it's beautiful I'm happy this got in because it reminded me how much I enjoyed them I wore this on camera at least once I wore it another time with Night Moth by MAC, which looked beautiful, and then the third time on my cheek. So it was beautiful. I get to roll this out as well. It was a struggle, I'm not gonna lie to you, for those three chances, three times to use it, so I'm not even gonna bother to get to five. Three's enough. And last but not least, my prompt was OG YouTube Fave. And for that, I ended up choosing my Benefit Rocketeur, 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 I don't know how you say it, 
Uh, this is the blush and my goal was to use this 10 times. I actually paired this the 10 times with this peachy highlighter and both of them look beautiful. I am not into pink blushes as much as I am for, to peachy apricot, that kind of shade, orangey shades. But if I'm going to choose my all time favorite pink blush, I would say this is it. I love the formula. I love the color. I love how it looks on my cheeks. I love how it goes with everything. I am going to stand here and say that if I use up this whole entire blush, I would repurchase this one. I would actually get rid of a lot of more pink blushes that I own to just use this one as my one and only bl pink blush. I really like it that much. I just remember how much I enjoyed it. And you guys can see how much I've used it. It used to say rock, rock or rock a tour across this thing the emblem and you guys, I could probably pan this with no issues. It's a beautiful, beautiful blush. I love the color, love the tone, love everything about it. I used it my 10 times. So I will also be rolling that sucker out. All right, you guys. So let's pull out my cards here and let me bring up the game board because now we are going to be rolling in five new products. This is basically a whole entire of uh, refresh even though next month will be the finale i'm gonna do it anyway i'm going to go ahead and shuffle let me see the game prompt i'll put it up on the screen i have yet to see it so what do we got oh crap we got an a through z let's let's not go through there again because i got the x last time a change suit i don't know what that means hmm, that's interesting please is there a shirt color i don't know if there is a shirt color on here no i do not see that i have a concealer Okay, this month actually doesn't look bad and there is no plus one, which is nice. So let me just shuffle this one more time. And we're going to go ahead and pick from the top. Gosh, here we go. Five cards, you guys, five cards. So here we go. Uh, ooh, the 10 of clubs. Okay, so the 10 of clubs is winter. Okay, so a product that reminds me of winter. Ooh, that'll be fun. Ooh, I like that one. All right, card number two, 10 of diamonds, 10 of diamonds. Oh, dual chrome, two chrome. I was hoping I didn't get this. Okay, this, this can be fun though. So give me a moment on that. I gotta think about that one. Then we have the five of clubs, do, 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 change suit. Okay, what does that mean? I said it, okay, here we go. Choose a different suit for the same number. Example, four of hearts can change it for the four of spades. Oh, so I had the club. So the five of clubs, I could change it to either a highlighter, something a friend is panning, or an influencer collab brand. Ooh, what am I gonna choose? What am I gonna choose? Hmm. Give me a moment. I'll think about that one and then I'll give you guys back because now I got to choose a different suit for that one. All right, number four, queen. The queen is a random color generator. Oh my gosh. All right, so I have to bring that up. And then the last one is ace, which is Project Graveyard. Okay. All right, so the suits, I think I'm going to choose. Do, 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 do. I think I'm gonna go with something a friend of a friend, something a friend is panning. I think I could find something in my collection that I can bring in for that. And then, so I'll do that for the five. The queen is my color generator. So let me just grab this on my iPad while I have it up here because why not? And let me see, random color with a U generator. All right, so you guys are gonna see this with me. So I'm gonna hit the hit the thing and whatever comes up, it'll come up. Oh, look at that color. So this is like a grape apple, a grape apple, a grape shade. Screenshot that so I can put it up on the screen for you guys. So that'll be my color and then a project graver. All right, you guys, let me go pick out these products and then I'll be right back. This is gonna be interesting. All right, you guys, I'm back. That was interesting to say the least. <sighs> So remember, this is just one month's worth of usage that I'm gonna get on these products. So I'm not expecting a ton. So it's gonna be more of usage than anything or just going with the flow because ah, it's the end. I'm excited though, I'm excited because then in the beginning of January, I get to redo this all over again. Okay, so the first card that I pulled out was the 10 of clubs and that was winter. And there's two different 
ways I connected winter to this product. One is the packaging, the blue packaging, because winter, I think of blue, but also I use this corrector only in the winter time when my dark circles tend to pop out more due to my sinuses, it's a lot colder and stuff. I actually am wearing it today for the first time in a at least six months. So it's been a while since I haven't used this. My goal is just to use it. I'm not trying to hit pan. I'm not trying, this is the only corrector I have, but I wanna get more use out of it and remember to get into the habit of using it again. So this is what I'm rolling in for the prompt winter. All right, so the 10 of diamonds was duo or multi-chrome. And this one was a bit hard because I just didn't know what to roll in, but something popped in my head that I have been always wanting to put in a project pan and never, actually did and that is my essence never give up your daydream eyeshadow palette this was gifted to me by my friend lisa i have used it so it's not like i haven't used this this is a bunch of multi duo chromey type of eyeshadows i love if you guys can see up close you could see the dent in the center of this palette i love to use this eyeshadow palette as an inner corner highlight palette so my goal is to use this as many times as I possibly can. I'll try to remember to keep tallies because I'm not gonna give myself a usage goal, but I have a feeling this is gonna be super easy for me to use because it's easy to reach for and use as an inner corner highlight. I have nine options, so I'm not gonna get bored. I'm not gonna choose one color. I'm gonna go with the flow because I have green, yellow, orange, pinks, blues, uh, the white with the duochrome to them. So I, I have a feeling that I'm probably gonna get a good 20 some use out of this palette. So I'm gonna roll that in for my duo uh, multi-chrome. I thought that was a good one and it gave me a bit of freedom to pick whatever one I want for the day. Next prompt was uh, five of clubs and that allowed me to change my suit. So I was either gonna pick five of hearts, diamonds or clubs. I went with the five of diamonds, which was something a friend is panning. And I have a few friends who are trying to pan last minute foundations for the end of the year. So I wanted to roll this one in. Now this is my Merit Stick. There is quite a bit of product in here. I'm not expecting to finish this off, make a ma major dent in here. I don't use a lot of it. I, I can continue to roll this up, but I'm not. Um, I don't know if this is even gonna fit me, so I'm gonna have to work with it to see if it even suits me and matches me but I wanna use this. So I'm gonna again try to remember to tally how many times I'm gonna use this. I am trying to finish up another foundation, so that may hinder how many times I'm gonna reach for this. I wanna finish that one first because we only got a month and a half so left of this year and I wanna get one more foundation into my empty. So I'm gonna roll this in and we'll see how many times I get use out of that. All right. <laughs> The Queen, this was a random uh, color generator, which I think is a lot of fun. This is the only second time I've rolled in this. And it was like a grape purple shade. It wasn't too bright, but it wasn't too deep. So it was right in the middle. I thought I'd roll this in. This is my LA Girl Super uh, uh, Shock Wave Neon Eyeliner in Vivid. I have used this and I think that this is the closest I can get to that grape color. I don't know how many times I'm gonna use it because it is this a little bit brighter than I want this time of year. So I'm not gonna make a usage goal. I just wanna see how many times I can reach for it for the last month that we will be doing this project. I'm gonna probably use it as a waterline, maybe as a base, get more use out of it. Hopefully at least 10 times, I don't know. I don't wanna say 10 times and then not reach for it 10 times, cause I don't know, I don't know. And it doesn't stay that long, at least not on me. So we're gonna work with it. We're gonna work with it, I like the color. Um, it may not stay forever on my waterline, but maybe on my lower lash line it'll look a lot of fun. And the last one was the A for Alejandra, no for Project Graveyard. So for my Project Graveyard, we just wrapped up in October the Project, the Graveyard Project Pan, and I had a product in there, so I figured it'd be perfect to roll into here. That is my Maybelline Nude Pink Color Tattoo. So this is what we are looking at. I am currently scraping the edges of this and just taking from them. I think what I wanna do is try to clean out one of these sides out here to have it show glass on one of these edges over here. I think I'm gonna reach for this area over here. This part has more product than down here. So I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing is just kinda like use up one of the edges to make it look no longer a circle, like closed circle, like an open circle. I am wearing it today as a base and you guys, I love how it looks. I do wanna finish this off eventually. I have so many of these left. I think I have five of this color, five of another color left. And I love them. Nothing wrong with them. I still can use them. So I want to finish this off. But for this project, I'm going to just try to clean off one of the edges for it. And if I can do more than the next month, then that's perfect. All right, you guys, that is 
my update. It's a complete refresh for the last month. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll put my videos on the screen for your enjoyment. Until then, adios.